Welcome to our worship resources for the Lutheran Church of St. John here in Quincy, Illinois. My name is Pastor Steve Hayden, and I am thankful that you have an opportunity to share in this time of worship with us. It's just a great opportunity, um, whether this is in place of your regular Sunday morning worship or in addition to what you do on Sunday morning. It's a great opportunity for you and your family to gather around God's Word. Because the promise we have is that God works through his word. The word of God is unlike any other book or message or communication. uh, Because the word of God delivers what it promises. And uh, what a wonderful, wonderful gift that is. And so we gather around these words and promises of God knowing that he works in our hearts. And and that's one of the blessings of uh, of the community of the church is it gives us a place, whether it's a physical location like a church building or a virtual location through these resources, the church gives us a place, a community in which we can hear that word of God, in which we can hear his promises and receive them into our lives. And in our congregation, we're celebrating that. We're celebrating God's gift of the church and the blessings that it provides to each and every one of us. So I'm thankful that you are joining us for this celebration and even more thankful that God joins us in this celebration because he is present with his church. That's his promise. And that's why we make our beginning in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. To celebrate the the gift of the church and the gifts that God gives us in and through the church, we start out with Psalm 65, a psalm of celebration and praise for the gifts of God. Praise awaits you, our God, in Zion. To you, our vows will be fulfilled. You who answer prayer. To you, all people will come. When we were overwhelmed by sins, you forgave our transgressions. Blessed are those who who you choose and bring near to live in your courts. We are filled with the good things of your house of your holy temple. You answer us with awesome and righteous deeds, God our Savior, the hope of all the ends of the earth and of the farthest seas, who formed the mountains by your power, having armed yourself with strength, who stilled the roaring of the seas, the roaring of their waves, and the turmoil of the nations. The whole earth is filled with awe at your wonders, where morning dawns, where evening fades, you call forth songs of joy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, merciful Father, you have caused all holy scriptures to be written for our learning. Grant that we may so hear read, mark, learn, and inwardly digest them, that we may embrace and ever hold fast the blessed hope of everlasting life through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The first reading for the celebration of the church comes to us from the book of Acts, chapter 2. These words are a description of the church, the community of God's people, uh, right after the day of Pentecost, in which the Holy Spirit was poured out on God's people and the church grew significantly. These words then describe what that church looked like. Acts chapter 2, beginning at verse 42. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching, to the fellowship, to the breaking of bread, and to prayer. Everyone was filled with awe at the many wonders and signs performed by the apostles. All the believers were together and had everything in common. They sold property and possessions to give to anyone who had need. Every day they continued to meet together in the temple courts. They broke bread in their homes and ate together with glad and sincere hearts praising God and enjoying the favor of all the people. And the Lord added to their number daily those who were being saved. This is the word of the Lord. 
The gospel reading uh, today for the celebration of the church comes to us from uh, Matthew's gospel, uh, the 16th chapter, where Jesus teaches us about the uh, foundation of his church. When Jesus came to the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others say Elijah, and still others, Jeremiah or one of the prophets. What about you, Jesus asked, who do you say I am? And Simon Peter answered, You are the Messiah, the Son of of the living God. Jesus replied, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for this was not revealed to you by flesh and blood, but by my Father in heaven. And I tell you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not overcome it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Then he ordered his disciples not to tell anyone that he was the Messiah. This is the gospel of the Lord. 